Today we are going to talk about KD trees. What is the closest known point to our new point? Well, I guess we can just go through each individual known point, but the problem with this algorithm is that it's linear. In case of a million points, it's a million of iterations. Can we do better than that? Well, apparently KD tree is all about that. Before using a KD tree, as with many data structures, we have to build it first. KD tree is built by iteratively bisecting the space into two regions containing half of the points of the parent region. This means that on each iteration we take all of the points, sort them by one of the axes and split them by the point in the middle. Then we recursively repeat that operation for the subparts building the KD tree. It doesn't make any sense to split the regions by one axis all the time, so the splitting axes are usually alternating on each iteration. It's usually done by using modular arithmetic. Suppose we have k dimensions instead of 2. Instead of giving each axis of the dimension a letter name, we're gonna number them from 0 to k-1. We're gonna also keep track of the depth of the recursion process. The depth is basically a number of times the region was split. Having defined all of that, we can say that the splitting axis for a particular iteration of depth d is going to be equal to d modular k. That formula will alternate the splitting axis in a cyclic manner. It's actually easier to implement than describe, so let's just do that. We don't need that anymore. First, let's define the amount of dimensions we have. This will be useful for alternating the splitting axis that I described before. So we need to define a function that takes a bunch of points and returns the KD tree. We also have to keep track of the depth of the recursion, so let's create another argument with the default value 0, because when you just invoke the function, the depth is actually 0. For the sake of the convenience, we're going to refer to the amount of points as n. If we don't have any points, we cannot build any KD tree, so it's just none. Now we have to choose the splitting axis. As we discussed before, the splitting axis is equal to depth modular k. Now let's sort the point by the splitting axis. And now we are ready to construct a KD tree node. The splitting point is going to be the middle point. Then we build the left subtree with the point before the splitting point and the right subtree with the point after the splitting point. For each of the subtrees, we increment the depth of the recursion. That will alternate the splitting axis on the next iteration. It's quite important to notice that we don't store the splitting axis anywhere in the nodes of the KD tree. We can easily recover it from the depths while traversing the KD tree. All right, let's see how it works. Let's build the KD tree from the points that we loaded from the SVG document. And here we go. This is how the KD tree looks like. It's not really readable, isn't it? Let's preprint that structure. Let's import pprint module and construct a pretty printer. So yeah, this is how it looks like pretty printed. We have a splitting point, left subtree, right subtree, and each subtree also has a splitting point and the corresponding left and right subtrees. Congratulations, we just built a KD tree. All right, once we have our KD tree built, we can use it for searching the nearest neighbors. Let me show you how we would do that right away without any second thought. Basically, as a naive approach, I would recursively traverse the tree as I was inserting a new element into it, maintaining the best result. Let's implement that and see why it's wrong. All right, let's define a function. We're going to call it KD tree naive closest point. It's going to take the root of the tree, the point we are searching the nearest neighbor for. For any operations on KD tree, we have to maintain the depth of the recursion because this is the only way to identify the splitting axis. And for this one, we also have to keep track of the best result. All right, let's handle a simple corner case when the root is none. That means we reach the leaf of the KD tree and that means we have to finally return the best result. And stop the recursion. Now let's identify the splitting axis. And now we have to answer two questions. Did we find a better result so far? And what is the next branch of the recursion? Let's try to answer those questions. To answer the first question, we have to compare two distances, the distance between the searching point and the best result, and the distance between the searching point 
and the splitting point of the current node of the KD tree. If the distance between searching point and the splitting point is better, that means it's the next best result. Otherwise, best result didn't change. Another thing to keep in mind is that best can be equal to known. So let's handle that corny case. Like that. To answer the second question, we have to see on which side of the splitting plane the search point lies. So let's compare the splitting axis of the corresponding points. And if the searching point lies on the left side, the next branch of the recursion is left. Otherwise, it's right. Pretty straightforward. And once we have answered those two questions, we can go to the next iteration of the recursive process. All right, let's see how it works. First thing I want to do, I want to create the KD tree from the set of our points, then evaluate everything and try to search the pivot in the KD tree. So we found this, let's compare it to the right answer. Get point by ID, SVG tree, call this. So yeah, in this case, we found the correct answer. Let's take a look at the set of points where this approach fails. All right, here's the interesting set of points. The red point is the pivot, basically the point we are searching the nearest neighbor for, and the blue one is the nearest neighbor. Let's try to apply our naive approach to that set of points. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna change the file with the set of points. And for the sake of convenience, I'm also going to read the closest point. Basically, I marked the closest point with the closest ID, which actually helps me to identify it. All right, let's evaluate everything. So here's our set of points. Here's the pivot, here's the closest point. First, let's use the linear approach, basically the approach where we go through all of the points and pick the, the one with the closest distance. We provide the points and the pivot, and yeah, get the one which is equal to closest. Now. Let's take a look at the KD tree that was built from the new set of points, and it looks like that. Let's pretty print it. So yeah, it's a little bit smaller. So let's use our naive KD tree search approach. We provide the KD tree and pivot. There we go. And something is wrong here. This thing is not equal to the closest one. What's wrong? 